two man what's good y'all it's ricky hope everybody's having a blessed day so far peace and blessings to all y'all i'm gonna get straight to the video i'm gonna, i'm going to be explaining to y'all why men do self-improvement why we want to become the best version of ourselves. why we retain for gains instead of busting for lust purpose over pleasure i'm gonna keep it a buck as men and young men we're all tired of feeling weak unhappy after we indulge in instant gratification our soul knows that what we're indulging in is not good for us, will not help us be successful, but we do it anyways because it's easy. And that's the difference from instant gratification. It's easy and you can get it now versus delayed gratification where it takes a lot of time, consistency, failures, and a lot of grind. And the, the, the reward is the long run. What you get from putting all the hours, weeks, months, days, and that reward is just... You stay consistent, but people don't want to put that work in. So, we I want to be stronger. I want to learn from my failures. I don't want to become weak. I want to become a strong man for my family, for my future family, for my family now. There's no excuse for you to want to be weak. I don't like being comfortable. I like going through challenges and discomfort because that's how I grow. Same thing with other men. Men on self-improvement, we all want to be more masculine. We don't want to be weak because... While we were younger, we were all brought up by this like feminized society saying it's okay to be weak. And the school system is very feminine because that this is another, I'm getting off topic, but I don't care. This is something I just got to tell you, this knowledge. I, I actually learned this from another YouTuber. His name is Hamza. I give credit to him. You should check out his channel, like, amazing YouTuber. And he, he also talked about, which I agree, that... And the school system is very feminized because when you, let's say, protect yourself or you're being a boy and you're being playful and you're play fighting with your other friend and then your teacher is telling you to sit down and then not talk and just listen to the, the teaching, to just listen to some fat teacher go on and on about why the periodic table is important. Like, that's, it's not going to get you anywhere because I noticed that a lot of schools don't talk about self-improvement. They don't talk about mental health. If they do talk about mental health, it's for maybe like a week. And they just do that so they can make their school look good. But that's it. And also, when you fail a test, you get punished. That's not how life works. If you fail, you learn from that. And the thing that sucks is that if you get an F, they, they say, oh, grades are terrible. They say that, oh, your grades are terrible. You're not going to get anywhere in life. And the only route for you when you get bad grades is... A minimum wage job in college but why would you want that you want better than that men on self-improvement we don't want just the average we want above average you want the highest results so why would you want to settle for less why would you want to be weaker I want to grow from my mistakes I want to grow from all the challenges I go through all the discipline all the hours of just putting work in and whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, learning about myself. School doesn't teach you that. When you fail a test, they think you're dumb. They and they don't they, they say that oh you're a failure just because you got a bad grade on some algebra math test. But you know what? That doesn't matter in life. Cause when you fail, that's where you learn. But schools make it like like it's the end of the world or it's the it's a terrible thing to fail. Nah, failing, that's a good thing. Because when you fail, you challenge yourself and you, you know the outcome. Let, let's say you tried to go for 20 plus pull-ups, but you're only able to get to five and you weren't able to get past it and you failed, but you learned, but you still went for it. So I'm connecting that to self-improvement. So men do self-improvement because they want to become better. No more of this comfort, no more being weak. We're stronger now. The fact that you're even putting effort to become the best version of yourself, that's incredible. That's great progress. You have to just get gratitude for the small things. Even if it's something that you might not think is that important, like journaling, or you think that that's not going to get you anywhere. Trust me, the more you write, the more you learn about yourself. And same thing with meditation. If you meditate for like one minute and you would say, oh, this is not going it's not, it's not to do anything. I'm not seeing instant results. You just have to wait. The more weeks you go by increasing the, the meditation, the amount of time you meditate. So let's say you meditate one, one minute the whole week, the next week, two minutes, you'll see that you're start slowly becoming more present. And then you'll notice that when you meditate, you just you know that 
you have so many thoughts just randomly pop up in your head. Remember, small changes make remarkable results. If you change small habits within your days, and let's say it's your diet, you would always eat junk food six times a week. So you lessen that to five times a week and slowly you start so eating the junk food, but you're adding more fruits to your diet, you're adding more vegetables. And soon you know it, you might go cold turkey on the junk food and just eat nutrient dense foods. It's all about progressive overload. You can't just pile everything at once because that's not progress. If you just throw all these habits at the same time, you're not going to stay consistent because then it'll be overwhelming. And then you just say, no, I can't do this. I'm just going to stop. Remember, it takes 30 days to form a habit. And it took me a while to actually really start taking cold showers consistently. This morning, I took one as soon as I woke up freezing cold. I literally take showers, cold showers every single day. And I feel amazing. I'm not stopping them anytime soon. As men who have this knowledge of self-improvement, we have the advantage to self-improve. We have the opportunity to become the best version of yourself. And now we have internet and all this information laid out to us that we can just take time to work on. Now you're able to actually be able to meditate, gratitude journal. 20 years ago, no one knew what gratitude journaling was. No one knew what nofap was, seam retention. But now you have all the knowledge, you have the most opportunities and time to self-improve. So there's no excuses. As men, every single one of us have that masculine desire to succeed and accomplish goals. But while growing up, society destroyed that from us. But when we go on self-improvement, we regain that masculine energy. We obtain that drive to be successful in our life again. And the more we go and stay consistent on self-improvement, the more progress we see. And when you see progress in something, you feel amazing. You feel incredible. You feel like the man. I feel like the man anytime I accomplish any goal, even if it's a small goal, like throughout my day. If I read for an hour, even though I didn't want to, I feel good because I, I made a promise to myself saying, I'm gonna read for an hour even though I don't want to. So uh, as men who are on self-improvement, we don't wanna feel weak anymore. We wanna be stronger for our family, for our brothers, our tribe. We wanna become the best version of ourselves because we know that we now have the opportunity and that drive, that rage to become better now because we have all that knowledge laid out to us. We don't wanna feel weak anymore. We wanna become better. We wanna become a part of the 10%, 1%, 20% of men who are self-improving and retaining. So remember, embark on this journey, become the best version of yourself. It takes time, but you stay consistent and you do this for years, two years, one year, five years, you will see remarkable results. You'll be relentless. You'll literally be a monster. Remember to put God first, to focus on yourself and let you having love and intimacy with a woman motivates you. Let you having a future family motivates you. Let, let anything that motivates you inspire you. You should be waking up every single morning excited to self-improve. You have the opportunity to even work out today. You have the opportunity to even take cold showers today. You have the opportunity to even journal today, meditate. So give gratitude. This is why men self-improve. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been Ricky and I'm out. Peace.